everyone i welcome all of you to the india meteorological department daily weather briefing myself dr arlawan as on today 9th october 2024 let's see the weather briefing uh, yesterday we received the rainfall observed up to 13 cm over the kongan and goa also 13 cm over coastal karnataka and 12 cm over arunachal pradesh these are the highlights a low pressure area formed over the lakshadweep and adjoining southeast east central arabian sea as on today 9th october it is likely to move north westward and intensify into depression over the central arabian sea during next 3 to 4 days isolated heavy rainfall activity very likely over kerala and meghi and then tamil nadu during this week and over coastal and ghat area of maharashtra and northeast india during next 3 days and for the withdrawal of southwest monsoon it still passes through the the same condition as yesterday like uh, uh, 29 degree north and 84 degree east and then natonwa sultanpur panna and narmadavaram kargaon natarpur and navsari and then 20 degree east to 70 degree east conditions are favorable for further withdrawal of southwest monsoon from the remaining part of the gujarat and madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and some more parts of maharashtra and some more parts of bihar during next 2 to 3 days under the influence of upper air cyclonic circulations over uh, lakshadweep and adjoining southeast arabian sea a low pressure area has formed over lakshadweep and adjoining south east and east central arabian sea the associated cyclonic circulation extends up to 5.8 km above mean sea level and it is likely to move north westward and intensify into depression over central arabian sea during subsequent 3 to 4 days a trough runs from comerian area to north kongan coast across the the above cyclonic circulation associated with the low pressure area over the lakshadweep and then adjoining southeast and east central arabian sea and extends up to 1.5 km above mean sea level another cyclonic circulation lies over the sri lanka neighborhood and extends up to 5.8 km above mean sea level a western disturbance as a cyclonic circulation now lies over the east afghanistan and neighborhood uh, between 3.1 and 7.6 km above mean sea level a cyclonic circulation lies over the east assam and neighborhood and extends up to 1.5 km above mean sea level with a, a trough loft uh, roughly along the 93 degree east to uh, 25 degree north under the uh, uh, influence of these weather phenomena the following weather advisory is uh, issued for the next 7 days as on today 9th uh, october heavy rainfall activity warning has been issued over the tamil nadu kerala lakshadweep uh, coastal karnataka and south india karnataka also kongan goa and then uh, maharashtra region also over the uh, east india like uh, assam meghalaya and uh, arunachal pradesh uh, nmmt region and other yellow warning covers for the uh, thunderstorm and lightning activity and this is for the day two forecast valid for the 10th october heavy rainfall continued uh, with the yellow warning over the tamil nadu kerala region lakshadweep uh, coastal karnataka also over the kongan goa region and then madhya maharashtra region maratwala region also over the northeastern state uh, continue to with the heavy rainfall uh, and other regions covers for the low cover low region covers for the uh, thunderstorm and lightning activity and this is for the day 3 forecast valid for the 11th october uh, northeastern state uh, assam meghalaya and arunachal pradesh included uh, for the heavy rainfall activity and uh, tamil nadu and kerala south india karnataka and uh, kongan goa also over the madhya maharashtra covers for the heavy rainfall activity along with the thunderstorm and lightning activity which is issued the yellow warning and this is for the day 4 orange warning has been issued over the tamil nadu and kerala for the isolated very heavy rainfall activity along with the uh, scattered heavy rainfall activity uh, and for the south india karnataka and then kongan goa heavy rainfall activity yellow warning has been issued and this is for the day 5 forecast valid for the 13th october Uh, same similar kind of situation passes for over the tamil nadu and kerala with orange uh, warning isolated very heavy activity of rainfall would be there and then heavy rainfall activity over the south india karnataka and then coastal karnataka also would be persist and then remaining yellow warning has been issued, issued over the coastal andhra pradesh and then kongan goa and maratwada region for the uh, lightning and uh, heavy gusty wind activity and this is for the day 6 forecast uh, valid for the 14th october heavy rainfall activity would be there over tamil nadu and uh, kerala region and then the next day it would be reduced over over the only over the 
Kerala would be there and then Tamil Nadu there will not be any heavy rainfall activity. The remaining area there is no adverse others. And this is the fisherman uh, warning graphics for the next five days. Squally weather with a wind speed of 35 to 45 km gusting to 55 km uh, per hour. A warning has been issued over the Arabian Sea, Southeast Arabian Sea and then East Central Arabian Sea for the day 1 to day 3 or even it has been elongated for the day 4 along over the Southwest Bay of Bengal also covering the uh, Sri Lankan coast and for the day 5 that is for the 13th October it has, uh, over the Arabian Sea since the move, system will be moving further at, further over the north the, accordingly that uh, fisherman warning also being updated thanks for watching stay tuned